Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a while back, I made a video on how to make like a stitch effect or a zigzag stitch for uh, somebody for a leather patch. And now there's somebody asked me how to do it for like a circle. And it's actually a lot easier for a circle. And I, I came up with three different angles. This one's really sharp, not quite as sharp and less sharp. And sometimes I even want, and he said it's a two inch patch. So we're gonna do one on it, or we're gonna do several on a two inch patch. And sometimes I wonder where I come up with this idea. But the circle makes it easy because we're gonna take a square and we're gonna hit Control D and hit P, put it in the center of the page. For the y'all that watch enough of my videos, you know I like working in the center of the page and this is an ex excellent example. Holding down the Shift key and make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna Control D and make a duplicate of that guy and I'm gonna rotate it three degrees. And then I'm just gonna keep rotating it three degrees until I get all the way around. Now, because I'm working in the center of the page, I can remove my circle. And now all I have to do is hit weld, hit P, put my circle back, and we have a stitch effect. Now you can make that, if you're gonna vector and grade that, you could make it something other than a hairline and make it, make it, I'm gonna make it black for the video, but you'd want it, well, you could make it a hairline and just run it really fast and not cut through it. And that's, you know, that's what you have to do if you're gonna do a vector, if you're gonna have the machine vector that cut, just do that really fast and, and so it won't cut through the leather, it'll just mark the leather. Other than that, you have to make it thicker and um, uh, engrave it. So then I thought, well, how about a polygon? A polygon has six sides, or this one has six sides. I'm gonna, I'm holding down the shift button. Now we're gonna control D and make a duplicate and we're gonna rotate this thing three degrees. And you can rotate it two degrees. It just has to be visible. And then we're gonna rotate. Now the good thing about a polygon, you don't have to make as many duplicates because of the fact that it's got more sides so it's coming around. And you can see the difference in the sharpness of the stitch. And this would be personal preference. Then I thought, well, what's gonna make it the sharpest? Well, something with three sides. So we're gonna go with a polygon and hold down the control button and make a perfect one and hit P. Let me zoom in here. Now, why did I start with a six-sided polygon? I'm gonna hold down the shift because if you start with a three-sided, it won't be in the center. If I hit P right now, Corel does it, and I've never really figured out what it is. It's some sort of weight of the lines or something, but we're gonna back up, and now we have that. Now, if we control D and start rotating it right now, it's not gonna work. That's why I've got the indexing lines. So we're gonna control D and make a duplicate. We're gonna double click on it, and we're gonna move our rotation to the center of the page. Then we're gonna rotate that three degrees. Control D, six degrees, Control D, and just come around. Now, if we did not do that, uh, then we have to make more duplicates this way. And you could use one degree, two degree, three degrees, and weld that, and now you have a ultra sharp angle of a stitch. I'm not a sewer or a stitcher. Uh, I think either one of them would work. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. There's all three of them put together and you can kind of see the difference. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.